Hey, Joe Robina here of American King Self-Defense and ACSD Tactical uh, with a message today about our Five to Survive foundational uh, King training. So this is the most important course if you're looking for tactical King Self-Defense that you can apply immediately. The reason is this is the course that focuses on our five basic power shot template. Notice that there's only five. It's not 10, 15, 20. The reason is for tactical self-defense that you can apply immediately, you have to keep it simple. Under duress, you're going to have a stress response. Adrenaline interferes with coordination so that your reactions have to be such that work with that system. If you have to get too complicated and, and, and it's, uh, it requires too refined of a skill set, uh, then things may not go the way you want them to go. And so what we want you to do, this is tactical self-defense, we want you to survive that attack, okay? So if you're still at the level of you don't get what all the commotion is of why the cane in the first place, I'll point out some things really quick. First of all, this may be the last tool that you can legally carry anywhere without a license. You don't have to have it concealed. Therefore, it is the quickest draw, and I'll show you how that translates into tactical application and the importance of that advantage. Number two, just being able to take it anywhere. Okay, it, that's, that gives you a huge advantage. You don't have to hide it. You don't have to um, be physically impaired to carry this totally legal to carry it as a walking companion. Number three, this, is, this gives you about a 37 and a half inch reach. And by the way, I'm using a, what we call a drone, which is a padded cane because I'm about to make some contact and I don't want to uh, uh, hurt my instructors. Uh, but normally you'd use something like either hardwoods uh, that, uh, or, or aircraft grade aluminum that basically withstands uh, the impact of something like a baseball bat uh, or a lead pipe, the way we get attacked here in the good old US of A, okay? And so those are some of the advantages that, you're, that you have with this tool. Reach, for instance, against a knife attack, reach, uh, that is right down. So, so any, anywhere where he's, he's coming right at you, and that that I just did and that I uh, uncorked is part of that course. But, but I did that from slow motion, right? Notice that he has to cover up. So when he does this, I mean, you're hitting, it's an impact tool, so it seeks bone, right? So rule number one, wood or aircraft grade aluminum on bone hurts. That's rule number one. Nobody's exempt unless you're flying around with a red cape and a big S on your chest. Rule number one always applies. So when he comes over here and does this, this goes right here, right? And there's a strategy against that type of attack. I'm showing you against the knife because that is the most gruesome type of attack in my opinion. And I, I developed the system to deal with that. Um, obviously, if he picks up a stick, a lead pipe, or something else, you're also going to be first there because of the reach advantage, and we show you that as well. And God forbid you put that down and it goes to reach the room for a firearm or something in his pocket and we're already in an altercation. I don't need to wait around. Hey, I know we're not going to exchange phone numbers here. I may need to incapacitate quick. Did just this little bit that I've demonstrated here looks simple and it is simple. It has to be simple, but it does require a template training. It does require a template. And so to me, that five power shot template, five to survive, is the most important course because it'll handle. Things are going to happen in this range, nine over 90% of the time. Everything else is what happens if somebody grabs you or breaks through that power shot range. But most of your applications and your violent encounters are going to happen like that. And it may not just be one, it may have to be two. And look at the reach that you're gonna have there. The other thing that you want to learn about, know about this course is that I tend to customize to what people need. There's a format that, that we go there, but I don't want you to think, see, if you need to walk around with a, with a cane as a medical aid, uh, that's totally fine. I don't focus on what you can't do. I focus on what you can do. That's 
You see, it, it, it's very different that way. And it goes at a pace that you're going to feel comfortable with. The principles are the same. And bad guys identify soft targets. Soft targets, by definition, are those that are perceived to be weaker, smaller, right? So, so not as fast. So that will be women, kids, and seniors. And if you fall into one of those categories, even more so, you're going to need an equalizer. This is an instant equalizer if you know what you're doing and you're trained in it, okay? I want you to not just master the cane. I want you to own it like a cane boss. I'm Joe Robina for American Cane Self-Defense. Give us a call at the headquarters for more information. It's 800-289-8188. The website, AmericanCaneSelfDefense.com.